how to factor trinomials. This video tutorial can be found on our website, mathwarehouse.com slash factor trinomial, where you will find several other practice problems that are worked out step by step, as well as a free worksheet that has an answer key. All right, before attempting to learn factoring trinomials, I'd like to step back and review multiplying binomials which it turns out is very closely related to factoring trinomials. If you remember this and this are binomials, they have two terms. And if you remember the way you do it is you just distribute, um, you just do a double distribute or a FOIL, however you were taught it. You do x times x to get x squared. Um, you also multiply the x by the 3 to get 3x. And of course we add these. Um, you multiply, I'm sorry that was 3x. The one, you distribute the 1 to the x and the 1 to the 3. And then simplify, right? x squared plus 4x plus 3. All right, look, this is a trinomial. It has three terms and it can't be simplified any further. x squared, let me write it more neatly, x squared plus 4x plus 3. Now, if we wanted to factor this, we would just say, oh, I kind of already gave it to you. This is the answer. Like, today, you want to be able to understand how to go in the other direction, how to go from the trinomial to the two binomials. So the key is to um, focus in on this and this. In the original equation, I mean, sorry, in the original multiplication, the way that we got the n term here was we multiplied, right? And the way that we got the 4 was add, right? The coefficient in front of the 4 we got by adding. The coefficient, or sorry, the number at the end, the constant 3, we got by multiplying. So let's now look at a trinomial and try to see how we can use the, this these two bits of information that you multiply to get the final term and you add to get the middle coefficient and factor. Let's try to factor x squared plus 8x plus 7. All right, so when we want to factor a trinomial, what we want in the end is we want to say, oh, that trinomial can become x plus some number and x plus some other number. We want to get the thing that's like the one in the, in the three in the top equation. So just remember, to get this term, you multiply. So that means what we're interested in is the factors of seven. The factors are the things that you multiply to get seven, right? The factors of seven are one and seven. I mean, it could also be negative one and negative seven, right? One times seven is seven. Negative one times negative seven um, is positive seven. So what we want is something that multiplies to this, but just remember, how do we get this 4? By adding 3 and 1 up top. So what we need to do is ask ourselves which one of these pairs of factors adds up to 8. As you can see, it's only 1 and 7, right? 1 plus 8 equals 1 plus 7. So that those are what go here and here. And if you would like a little verification that this actually works, let's just do what we did at the beginning with our, our new binomial. Let's just multiply it out, right? Did we do it right? Well, x times x, um, also x times 7, plus 7x, distribute the 1 to the x. You get a 1x, the 1 to the 7, plus 7. And when you simplify, you get x squared plus 8x plus 7. All right, so let's just do a little recap of what we did before we try some other problems. When you're given a trinomial, like we were given it here, x squared plus 8x plus, whoops, sorry, x squared plus 8x plus 7. Step one is find the factors of, the, of c, or of the number on the end. Our factors were 1 and 7, negative 1 and negative 7. You do have to consider negatives. And then all you have to do is think about which pair of these factors adds up to that number. 
And once you know what they are, in our case 1 and 7, you just substitute them in so it's x plus 1, x plus 7. And then at the end, if you want to verify that you were correct, you can multiply the two binomials and you should get the trinomial you were trying to factor. All right, let's just tweak that last trinomial a little bit and let's try to factor x squared minus 8x plus 7. All right, so step one is the factors of the number on the end, factor of 1 and 7, and negative 1 and negative 7, just like last time. Which pair of these adds up to, in, to negative 8? Well, this is, this is the pair. Right? Negative 1 plus negative 7 is negative 8. So the factors are x minus 1 and x minus 7. And if again, we'll, we'll double check this with this problem as our last one that we'll double check afterwards. We'll assume we're right. x squared minus 7x minus x minus 1 times minus 7 is plus 7. And as you see, this simplifies to be x squared minus 8x plus 7, right? Find the factors and then just decide which of the factor pairs adds up to the middle coefficient. All right. Let's try this trinomial here, x squared minus x minus 12. So what are the factors of negative 12? Notice, since it's negative and we're talking about factors, one of the terms is going to have to be negative and one positive. Like we could have negative 1 and 12, because they multiply to be negative 12, or negative 12 and 1. We could also have 3, negative 4, negative 4, 3. Um, negative 2, 6, um, negative 6, 2, I don't think I'm forgetting any, and we want a pair that adds up to be negative 1. And the only pair that's going to add up to negative 1 is this. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So that's our pair x minus 4, x plus 3. And you can multiply it out again to double check that it's, you're right, but um, that, that is the right answer. Let's try one last polynomial, x squared minus 9. It's not actually um, a trinomial because, as you can see, there's no um, middle term. But we can really think about it as, we can, we can, we can figure this out. We can think of it as x squared um, plus 0x minus 9. This thing here is a special case that um, you'll, you, you should definitely be familiar with. Uh, but let's just try to, I mean, we all agree that 0x is the same, uh, that these two are, are the same, x squared minus 9 and x squared plus 0x minus 9. So we want the factors of negative 9, right? That could be negative 1 and 9, negative 9 and 1, negative 3 and 3, 3 and negative 3. Right? These last two are actually the same. So which of these pairs adds up to 0? And of course it's this, or the bottom one, that they are the same, right? So x minus 3, x plus 3. Um, this here is a special case called the um, a difference of squares. You have x squared minus 9 or 3 squared, and it always ends up being x minus the square root of this x plus the square root of this being 9. Uh, here's one more example of this. Again, it's not, this is usually taught us the day after you learn how to factor trinomial. So if you're, you're going to see this soon if you haven't already. Let's think of this as x squared plus 0x minus 16. And again, it's one, let's write out the factors real fast. Um, and maybe from the last problem you realize already, when you have a difference of squares, I got the x squared, and this is 16 is 4 squared, you always end up with the square root of this number as, as the, the, new, the number that you're looking for. x minus 4, x plus 4. All right, so this was just a little treat, um, a little extra fun for you. To, it's uh, usually taught the day after you learn how to factor trinomials. So, but you can still use our method of factoring trinomials where you find the factors of this that sum up to the coefficient, and you're good. All right, uh, for more practice as well as a free worksheet that you can download, visit mathwarehouse.com slash factor trinomial.